Carbon Motors has designed the E7, the world's first and only purpose-built law enforcement patrol vehicle. Designed by law enforcement, exclusively for law enforcement. The Carbon E7 is designed to provide the highest level of officer protection using world-class technologies and processes, meeting or exceeding all regulatory requirements, including a durability of 250,000 miles. Each car will be built to order. The body structure is built around an aluminum space frame, which has a rear impact crash capability of 75 miles per hour. Prominent features include automatic license plate recognition, weapons of mass destruction detection, infrared night vision capability, and 360-degree highly conspicuous lighting. Rear hinge doors make loading suspects into the back seat compartment easier and safer. It's been quite some time since I've actually grinded through some of the single-player campaign of Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. That's what we're going to do today. And we're doing this to level up and unlock additional stuff that I can use in multiplayer. Right now, I'm kind of at a disadvantage in terms of multiplayer. I'm not fully upgraded, and I, I want every possible ability. So this is turn the tables, bust a racer to win, and earn the most bounty. This game actually has a pretty in-depth photo mode that I just recently learned about. So I've been playing around with it, taking some cool screenshots. I know there's a new Need for Speed game coming out. In terms of playing as police, I haven't heard too much. But I will definitely be getting the game if I can play as police or even run from police. I think that would be a lot of fun. Okay, we got one suspect fleeing in this red vehicle. I think that's the uh, Alfa Romeo or some, some type of Italian manufacturer. I think it's quick though. Woo! Oh, we just got... He's turning around. Okay. Uh, you're not getting away that quick. It's calling the helicopter. This guy's tricky. There he is. Hard to miss that bright red car. If I can get in front of him, I can utilize my two spikes. He's about half health. I need it two minutes and 30 seconds for distinction. Oh, he jammed my systems as soon as I got in front of him. The goal here is all gold. That's how we're going to get the most points. So he tries to jam and then just turn around. All right, I think we got distinction on that one. The suspects are now under arrest. Bring them for processing. Not bad. That was a very tricky one. Now my favorite part, the parts, the leveling up and the upgrades. All right, so that one's completed for now. Memorial Valley. All right, let's do Precision Pursuit. I think we're just chasing down some people. I like the M3. It's one of the quicker cars in this class. It's 
So this is responding as fast as we can to a call. Obviously, we're going to be penalized if we hit barriers. Central to all units, officers require assistance on Hope Canyon Freeway. Six point all one miles to go. No types of special abilities to use. That's a lot. Now for the most part, I think you want to stay off the shortcuts on these time stuff because anytime you go off road, it, it will slow you down a little bit. Most of these cars are just not made for it. But we can try it. Well, they don't hit anything. It might be okay. Four miles to go. Let me try to save that turbo coming out of the corners. Not a lot of traffic on the road, which is a good thing. Almost responding at 200 miles per hour. I had to overcorrect a little too heavy there. More penalties. Yikes. That's five seconds of penalties. And not to mention it slows you down significantly. Got about 30 seconds to go a mile. I barely made that one, maybe four or five seconds. All right, let's go ahead and finish off this one with the Porsche Patrol. Get tough in the Porsche Pan Panamera. Wow, Interceptor, you're using 911. Okay, sounds like option between two different Porsches. Oh no, we've got, oh no. So I actually don't have access to the 911. So we're going with the Panamera, which is the slower, bigger Porsche. And actually this vehicle, I don't know if it got updated this year, 2017, if you're watching this way down the road, but the Panamera has looked the same for a long time now. You see how the model looks? I, I wanna say this is a 2010 model. It looks similar to the current model. It might've got updated in 2017, I'm not sure. All units, we have a high priority situation on Cascade Terrace. I like the spoiler on it though, looks good. And that's crashed. coming from a person who is not fans, a fan of spoilers typically. Especially when you see him like on a Honda Civic or something ridiculous, a Corolla. Something where a, a spoiler is not needed. But if you're going excess of 200 miles per hour, um, it might be okay to, to utilize a spoiler so your car doesn't completely lift off the ground. Uh, that was not good. 
Dang it. That was a waste. So this one is not necessarily about time. It's more about getting the bus before people finish. All units, local EMPs are now authorized for use. Repeat, EMPs are a go. Corvette's out. I don't think that's the last we'll see of him. Roadblock unit dispatched. Please advise on target position. One little tap. Just a quick love tap. All units, local EMPs are authorized for use. Who's trying to use his turbo or something there? Roadblock, roadblock deploy two bus. No spike strips, unfortunately. There's somebody way out front. Let's get him with the EMP. Six miles to go. Everyone's up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was about to say, everyone's at pretty low health as I just slam into that. Roger that, 1073 approved. Roblox units deploying directly ahead of you. Finish him. Was that an R8? Two more busts for distinction. Getting some major points by racking up some cumulative miles. Pursuit is headed onto Memorial Highway. I didn't need to waste an EMP. What was that? Corvette. That's it. That's the game in the Lambo. Officers have the suspect in custody. This thing is over. Should be a good, decent amount of points. Now, as you get higher levels, it scales up the more points you're going to need to actually level. My favorite car. Man, I love this car. If you don't know about the carbon motors E7, I highly recommend you check it out. But essentially, it was a purpose built police sedan. Um, unfortunately, carbon motors went under. They're going to utilize BMW engines in them. Uh, they wanted those engines to last up to 200,000 miles. So it was intended to cut costs long term. Maybe a, a higher upfront cost, but down the road, you're expected to save some money in terms of maintenance and be able to keep the cars longer. They're going to be purpose built just for police departments. And they built one kind of. They might have built two. Um, demo models, not production stuff, but just, you know, the, to go to the car, car shows. Oh my gosh. Great way to start this off. It's a, actually a two minute timer here. Suspect is escaping. Please maintain pursuit. Oh, I'm trying. Wasted a lot of time, and I don't even think he has damage. Conditions are pretty wet. 40. Is he full health? No, he hit him. He must have hit something.
Oh, you can use spike me. The Subaru's gonna have a little bit of advantage off road. Gotta hit him again. Oh, yeah, he he up. Miss. Suspect has evaded the spike strip. Twenty seconds. Oh, that was pretty clutch. Bad mistake on his part trying to get around that. Officers have the suspect in custody. This thing is over. Tony, look at that time. My goodness. 46 seconds. There we go. This might be the highest level spike the strip. Future of speed enforcement, announcing the ultimate upgrade for your shredder technology. NDLS, the multiple device launching system. Double your stopping power. Deploy two shredders at once. Rolling out across the SCPD today. Imagine having that technology in a real life police car. I remember seeing a video. Oh, a ZR1. Very, very souped up Corvette. 115 grand back in 2009. But I remember seeing a technology that was being worked on a few years ago. And essentially it was an alternative to um, throwing stop sticks to get a vehicle to stop. Yes, we can use it. And what it did... It attached to the front of the cop car and you could deploy it Motors and you could kind of hook the E7, those the back tires and, and get it stopped. Law enforcement patrol vehicle designed by law enforcement exclusively for law enforcement. The carbon E7 is designed to provide the highest level of officer protection using world class technologies and processes meeting or exceeding all regulatory requirements, including a durability of 250,000 miles. Each car will be built to order. The body structure is built around an aluminum space frame, which has a rear impact crash capability of 75 miles per hour. Wow. Prominent features include... Oh, I had some additional information, but it's kind of, it kind of shows how important that project was because even years after the demise, I still talk about it. I know all the, or most of the selling points because there's some impressive goals. And I'm of the opinion we could see another company attempt to build a purpose built police car. I think it could be done. So this is distinction. It could be done under the right management. Management's gonna be key there, especially if, uh, if they're using investment money, which I imagine you would have to to start up your own car manufacturer. It's gonna take a lot of money up front. But look, look at the lights. They're built into the vehicle. It's Slick Top 2.0. Okay, I'm scared to take that shortcut because I don't know exactly where it goes. That might have saved me a little bit of time. Hard to tell at this point. But if you get 250,000 miles out of a car, I want to say that probably doubles or even triples what most departments will put on a car. I don't know how close they were to actually producing. I know at one point they bought a, uh, a facility and I think it was a prior car manufacturer facility, maybe by G GM that uh, went under. I don't know, it's such an interesting story. You can still find videos on YouTube of of 
you know, tours of the car if you want to check it out. And I know the one and only Carbon Motors model, or at least one of them, was auctioned off at a uh, at a private auction. It sold for like seventy-five grand, I think. But that'd be just a really cool one-off car to have. Okay, um, I'm probably gonna have to redo this one. Forty seconds. I don't know. It's kind of close. Come on, E seven. Pushing it to your limit. Point four. Oh, we got it. Good job. All right, that's going to conclude this episode. If you want to see more Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, let me know. I'm kind of getting back into this game. Thanks for watching.